Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a little bit since we had a new rifle to look over. This is Centerfire Systems. They got a shipment of uh, K11s in. So that's what's gonna we're gonna be looking in through here. I have yet to well, I haven't looked over it too well. Uh, I did look at it on my FFL, of course, but as you can see, they wrote fragile all over it. Just good. There was plenty of packing paper in there. Box was in good condition. Well, decent condition, I should say. Let's see if I got enough room to take this out. Alrighty. So, this is it. Um, I'll get a close up for us. Jeez. So yeah. Um, I've heard. Everybody rant and rave about these Swiss rifles. So, for I think I paid three fifty for them for this one, and I can not complain. It's very good condition wise. Um, all matching. I did check that while there. I don't think they label it butt please, but yeah. K11. It's nice and a smooth action. Uh, six round detachable magazine. Um. I'll get a close up on this, but um, it does seem like there's a couple spots of rust. Um, and as opposed to the K31s, there is no Swiss um, stamp on them. So, yeah, I'll probably do that overview, but um, this does shoot the 7.5 by 55 cartridge, which. It's going to be tough for me to find. I'll probably have to end up just making my own or reloading it. Um, so, oh, actually, hold on. Oh, nope, that matches too. Yep, everything matches. Um, magazine hold open on it. So, you guys will probably have to help me with this because I am unsure of uh, what exactly the best ammo is to use with this? I heard about GP11, stuff like that. Um, all different things. But if you guys could leave in the comments what's the best ammunition to use for one of these for um, long range shooting, that'd be great to know. It has a rubber, it still has a rubberized um, charging handle, bolt handle, whatever you want to call it. I'll release the bolt right here. So yeah. Bolt looks in great condition. No complaints from this. Yeah, it looks to be in good shape. There's a little bit, almost what seems to be corrosion here. I'll have to get a zoom in on that. Um... Hey guys, um, <clears throat> still kind of new to this whole YouTube thing, so I'm just editing this in after. Um, yeah, I'm really good. I'm happy with this rifle. It came out really well. All matching for 350, I can't complain. Uh, most of the bluing is there. The rifling is amazing in it. I just couldn't get a good shot, so I didn't bother putting in the picture that I had of it in. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, cause I'm really happy with this. So here's the bolt with the, uh, underneath the extractor, you can see that green corrosion right there. You'll have to let me know what you guys think of that too. Rifling looks great, looks brand new. As most of these do. Yeah, that actually, on the extra underneath the extractor there, seems to be a little corrosion on that. Um... Bolt face looks good. Looks very clean. Nice, neat rifle. Bringing this to the shoulder. It's light. It's lighter than I thought it would be. Definitely feels good with that pistol grip right there. That's nice. Yeah, so center fire systems. Um, this one. Oh, hold on, what's going on here? There we go. If I can get this back in, there we go. Um, 350 for the rifle. I think it was like 10 bucks for shipping, 15 for an FFL transfer. So about 400 into it. Um, for what I've seen these going, I'd say that's a good price for what I got. 
clean it up a little bit. It's just surface rust, so I don't think it'll leave any pitting or anything like that. The hardest part for me for this is going to be getting the cartridges. But yeah, another quick video for you guys. You have to let me know what you think and how I did on this rifle. Also, so I don't forget, leave a comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you guys thought. Have a good one.